Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Coming Out of the Podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat, and I have another rant for you today. As you can see across the bottom of the screen, we're talking Bronny James and LeBron James. Once again, Bronny's basketball playing career is being destroyed by the Los Angeles Lakers and, quite frankly, LeBron James. And now LeBron James is going back to being a complainer. And he has now put himself on a social media hiatus. Thank you, LeBron. We appreciate it. But before we jump in, thank you so much for your continued support of this channel. We greatly appreciate you. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Hit the like button. Pound the pound that like button, actually. Ring the bell. Become a member. Membership lives are going to start Tuesday. <clears throat> this topic is real simple. Bronny James should never have been drafted. He got drafted. Got a ridiculous contract for a 55th pick. Was forced down our throats. Looked like trash in summer league. Looked like trash in the preseason. Has looked like trash so far in the few games he's played in the NBA. Sent down to the G League. And he's looked like trash there too. So when exactly is he going to be good? We'll never know. Because the way the Los Angeles Lakers are managing his basketball playing time is an utter abomination. Ronnie James will not travel on road games in terms of the G League, despite the fact that the G League games are large. A lot of them are in California. Right now, Ronnie James has played two G League games. He's averaging 28 and a half minutes, five points, two and a half rebounds, three assists, one steal, one block, three turnovers. He's shooting 21.1% from the field, four of 19. He's 0 for 6 from 3, 0% from 3. So the 3 and D guy can't shoot. Repeat it again. The 3 and D guy cannot shoot. I said it before. He can't shoot. I said it months ago. He can't shoot. At some point, will you believe me when I say he can't shoot? And instead of leaving him in the G League to play with this, this team and get become a potentially potentially become a better basketball player. No, they're going to flip-flop him back and forth from the Lakers to the G League. So instead of going to play at San Diego against the Clippers, which was two days ago, and at Santa Cruz, which is on November 30th, against the Warriors, he can't go to those games. He can only play at home. And when he's not playing at home, he'll be sitting on the Lakers bench collecting dust up his ass and maybe getting some mop duty once in a while when they're up big or down big. He'll never play one meaningful fucking minute in a Laker jersey. Not one. Not one single minute will he play that matters in a Lakers jersey. Whose fault is this? It's the Lakers' fault. But you know whose fault it also is? LeBron's fault. Because LeBron set this child up. Yes, I'm going to call him a child now because he's still LeBron's child. He set this child up to fail. He pushed him down your throat, told you he's better than guys in the league, better than guys in the Lakers, and you see what you see. He's not worth dick. He's not good. He's not good. And instead of allowing him to develop, which is what he should have been doing in college, he got drafted. Oh, yeah. We know who pushed him into the draft. We know. Because <clears throat> there's no way Bronny James would have believed that he was NBA ready if his father and Rich Paul had said, you're not ready. There's no way he turns pro. But he did because they did not say that he wasn't NBA ready. Him hell, he's been listening to his dad telling him he's better than NBA players since he's been a junior in high school. What do you think? What do you think? Hey, whatever. Can't shoot, doesn't understand the game, always out of position. Go watch awful coaching. I mean, he'll show you countless examples of how out of position Ronnie James is over and over again. But now let's look at LeBron. LeBron is going off social media. 
Because he doesn't like negativity. Negative takes. He said, <clears throat> getting off social media for the time being, y'all take care. Bye. Bye, LeBron. Bye, LeBron. Bye, LeBron. LeBron James is a player I will not miss when he retires. I will not miss him. I will not miss the manipulation of narratives. I will not miss any of that. I will not miss listening to a guy lie all the time. I won't miss it. He lies all the time. Constantly fucking lying. <laughs> he recently said that everyone on the internet called me a liar all the time for praising Dalton Connect's college performances at Tennessee. Yeah, LeBron, we don't believe you watched him play at Tennessee. We, we don't believe that. We think you're lying. The same way you're always reading another book, and yet you're always in the first five pages. We got There's history of you lying. Like, there's videos of it. Now it's that he doesn't know when he's going to retire. If it'll be one year, two years. Who the hell knows? He might wait for Bryce James. Who the fuck knows? LeBron James remains a great basketball player. There's no question about it. He's having a, a really good year. He's having a great year. No, he's having a really good year. The Lakers are doing well so far. And they're 10 and 5. <clears throat> In large part because Anthony Davis finally has dropped, has nuts dropped <clears throat> to become the best player on this team. Because, folks, Anthony Davis is the Lakers' best player. It ain't LeBron James. It's Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is averaging 31-3, 11.2 boards, 1.2 steals, 1.9 blocks. He leads the team in four or five categories. And that does not include shooting 57% from the field, 43.3 from three. He's been fantastic. <clears throat> but LeBron James, enough already, bro. Nobody cares. Leave, leave social media. Or maybe you should help work on, work on helping your kid get better. Or maybe you should back the fuck off and, let, and, and actually have the Lakers do what they're supposed to do and send his ass to the G League permanently. So he can gain experience, skills. He's just not a good player. And in large part, it's your fault. It's your fault. I feel bad for him now. I, I, I honestly feel bad for this guy. Because he's had, he's had smoke blown up his ass since he was 12. I remember when they would show videos of him as a 12-year-old. On ESPN, no less. I, I, I feel bad for him. And I'm, I'm critical because he's a professional athlete now. But I feel bad for him because he's in a no-win situation. Well, he's already won. He was born into millions. But he's in a no-win And what I mean, what I mean by no-win situation is that he was – he's dealt a hand in which people think because he's LeBron's kid that he's this amazing basketball player. He's not. He's a good – High school player. He's an average to below average college player. We've never been able to see this kid just develop without having his father over his shoulder. We've never seen it. But what we're seeing right now is this kid's professional basketball playing career go down the drain. That's what we're seeing. We're seeing his career go down the drain. Because there's no direction. There's your G League today, pro team tomorrow, G League, Lakers, G League, Lakers. Make up your mind. He's not ready to play for the Lakers. And we all know it. We all know it. He's not ready to play for the Lakers. He may never be ready to play for the Lakers. <coughs> He's played six games for the Lakers. He averages 0 0.7 points. 2.7 minutes, shooting 16.7% from the field, 0% from three. I, I, I mean, what do you want? He's not good. They better figure it out because they're ruining him. They're ruining any chance of him having a chance. And LeBron, enjoy your social media hiatus because we don't give a fuck. That's all I got. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about the situation?
sure to like, hit that like button, pound it, hit the bell, subscribe, become a member, see us, see us on Tuesday, membership live, 9 p.m. Appreciate you. This is Rudy's Rants. Facts over feelings. Come on now.